Once upon a time, there lived a young girl with cascading locks of gold, and her name was Goldie. One day, while playing near her home, Goldie spotted a captivating butterfly. Enthusiastically, she attempted to catch it, but alas, the elusive creature fluttered away, leading her deeper into the forest. As Goldie pursued the butterfly along a winding path, she soon found herself disoriented and lost. However, amidst the thick woods, she stumbled upon a quaint little house. Hmm, pondered Goldie, I'm certain that whoever resides here will assist me in finding my way back. With hope in her heart, Goldie knocked on the door three times, knock, knock, knock. To her surprise, the door swung open on the third knock, revealing an apparently empty abode. Undeterred, Goldie's senses were captivated by a delightful aroma, prompting her stomach to growl loudly. Curiosity getting the better of her, she decided to step inside. On a small table within the cozy dwelling sat three bowls of porridge, a sizable one, a medium-sized one, and a diminutive one. Goldie, feeling quite famished, couldn't resist the temptation to sample the porridge. She first dipped her spoon into the large bowl, exclaiming, Oh my, this porridge is too hot. Moving on, she tried the medium bowl, only to find it unsatisfyingly cold. Finally, she tasted the porridge in the small bowl and exclaimed, MMM, this porridge is just right, savoring every spoonful until it was all gone. With her hunger appeased, Goldie, feeling fatigued, ventured into the living room where three chairs awaited her, a grand, wooden chair, a moderate pink chair, and a petite blue chair. I'm sure whoever lives here won't mind if I rest for a little while, she thought. Testing each chair, she found the large wooden one to be uncomfortable, the medium pink one too squishy, but the small blue chair proved to be just right. However, as Goldie settled into the snug chair, a sudden crack signaled its demise beneath her weight. Uh-oh, maybe I should just lie down instead, she mused. Climbing upstairs to the bedroom, Goldie discovered three beds, a substantial one, a moderate one, and a tiny one. I'm sure whoever lives here won't mind if I take a short nap, she thought. She laid in the large bed, finding it too firm, then in the medium bed, which was too soft. Finally, she nestled into the smallest bed, the perfect size for a young girl, exclaiming, This bed is just right. Pulling the blanket over her, Goldie soon succumbed to slumber. Meanwhile, a family of three bears returned to their woodland home. Upon entering, they were alarmed to find the front door ajar. It looks like someone has been eating my porridge, remarked Papa Bear, peering into his large bowl. Mama Bear concurred, it seems someone has been eating my porridge too. Baby Bear, however, lamented the disappearance of his porridge entirely. Venturing into the living room, the bears discovered signs of intrusion. I think someone has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Mama Bear added, and in mine too. Baby Bear cried out, someone has definitely been sitting in my chair, and they broke it to pieces. Ascending the stairs, the bears deduced that someone had been in their bedroom. Papa Bear exclaimed, I believe someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear shared the sentiment, indeed, someone has been in mine. Baby Bear, with a touch of alarm, declared, Someone has definitely been sleeping in my bed, and she's still here. With a collective roar, the bears startled Goldie awake. In a panic, the little girl bolted out of the bed and sprinted down the stairs, through the kitchen, and out the front door. Goldie ran and ran until she was safely out of the woods and all the way home. From that day forward, she vowed never to venture back into the forest, and the three bears never saw Goldie again. If you are interested in this story, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks!